Hey there, and welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Despite significant advancements in land and air-based logistics, container ships remain the backbone of the global freight transportation industry. Around 6,000 container ships operate on the world's seas throughout the year. As a result, in recent years, many container ships have been upgraded to be more than twice their original size. The largest ships in the world are capable of carrying up to 24,000 TEUs in a single shipment. But even with their high-tech interlocking systems, losing containers at sea has become a common and frequent occurrence in the shipping industry. In the years 2020 to 2021, almost 3,133 containers were lost in the ocean due to severe weather conditions, such as storms and strong winds. The number has increased by 400% compared to the previous period, with 779 containers lost at sea. As a result, many shipping companies have to bear high fines, insurance premiums, and substantial losses. Experts have identified several factors causing this phenomenon. The first factor is adverse weather conditions such as strong winds and large waves, which can create pressure on containers, ultimately causing them to fall off the ship. The second factor is overloading, where a ship that carries too many containers can cause them to fall while in motion or being unloaded into the water. The third factor is the error of the ship's captain, where an inexperienced or non-compliant captain may cause containers to fall from the ship. The fourth possibility is structural damage to the ship, such as leaks or cracks. This damage may cause containers to fall from the ship during transportation. Depending on the cause and type of goods stored inside the container when it goes missing at sea, the response taken varies. Although all containers have been insured, losing goods in the middle of the sea always poses a difficult condition, especially for cargo owners. Moreover, if many of the lost containers carry hazardous materials, rescue operations must be carried out. Some containers carry various materials that are hazardous to the environment, such as acid, alcohol, detergent, and manufactured products. Not all fallen containers can be identified for their contents, as many of them have already sunk. In other cases, the containers may be open in the sea or floating to the shore. When a container carrying hazardous materials is lost, the ship owner must signal the maritime administration about the location where the goods were lost. Rescue operations are usually well planned. First, a special rescue vessel will head to the location where the container was lost. Although the ship owner has provided the location information of the lost container, finding the exact location can be a very difficult process, even with GPS tracking tools. Strong waves can move the container from its initial location. Poor weather at sea can also slow down the rescue process, especially during storms and high winds. After the container's location is found, Remotely operated underwater vehicles or ROVs are deployed. ROVs are equipped with cameras and lighting systems to assist operators in seeing and controlling the equipment while working underwater. In many cases, the container has been infiltrated by marine life, making it difficult to spot. With sophisticated grapple arms, the ROV will attach a strong binding rope to all four corners of the container. Once the chains are in place, the crane will lift the container to the surface and lower it onto the ship.
In 2019, the 14,000-TU cargo ship 1APIS suffered a major accident while crossing the Pacific Ocean. The ship lost more than 1,800 containers during a storm. The incident caused significant losses to the company and posed a danger to fishermen and the marine environment. In addition to weather, overloading, or ship damage, piracy has become a serious threat to the safety and smooth flow of international trade in the sea. One criminal activity frequently carried out by pirates is stealing containers. They often target stranded containers due to accidents or bad weather conditions that cause cargo ships to run aground. Pirates who successfully steal containers at sea usually sell the containers to gangs on the coast or take the goods inside the containers to sell illegally. According to data from the International Chamber of Commerce, or ICC, the number of container theft incidents by pirates increased by 5% in 2020. A total of 3,722 containers were stolen by pirates worldwide, with a total loss of $15 million. Pirates also often attack container ships when sailing in unsafe waters, such as in the waters off Somalia or the Strait of Malacca. To address this problem, shipping companies must increase the security of their ships and containers. Modern cargo ships are usually equipped with sophisticated security systems, such as electronic surveillance and security systems, and are staffed with trained security teams. According to data from the International Maritime Organization, or IMO, around 10% of the containers moved globally suffer losses due to falling into the sea. This indicates that the loss of containers at sea is a serious problem that requires special attention. Unfortunately, there is no recent solution to prevent the loss of containers at sea. However, some companies have developed container security systems that can help reduce the risk of such incidents. One example is a container locking system that can securely lock the container onto the ship, minimizing the risk of the container falling when the ship is moving or being lowered into the water. In addition, companies can also use technology to monitor weather and ship conditions in real time, allowing them to take preventive measures before container falling incidents occur. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.